Welcome to Duke University. Welcome to the Duke University School of Medicine and welcome to medical neuroscience. Well, I hope you enjoyed that brief little walking tour of some of my favorite places on campus. As you might imagine, I enjoy the athletic program here at Duke University as much as I enjoy teaching in the School of Medicine and elsewhere on campus. Well, throughout the course, I hope to give you some views of Duke University and the surrounding area. Uh, you'll even get to see uh, some of my, of my home and my backyard. Uh, but for now, uh, we're in my office at uh, Duke University in the Duke Institute for Brain Sciences. And what I'd like to do in the next few minutes is, again, welcome you to the course. I'm so happy that you've joined us and I'd like to give you a sense of what you're in for. Uh, so I really have uh, two main goals for this time here. I want to tell you a little bit more about myself so that you know uh, what uh, you're going to get from me. And I want to tell you more about the course. And that way you'll have a sense of how you can best apply yourself and how you can get the most out of your experience here uh, in medical neuroscience. So let me begin by saying just a few things about myself so that you can get to know me just a little bit better. Well, perhaps you're, you're wondering who I am and, and how I got here, so let me tell you just a little bit briefly about my story. Well, I, I was born some years ago. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but uh, it was in the last century. I can tell you that much. Uh, I'm from a part of the United States of America that we called New England from the uh, far northeastern part of the United States, uh, from the smallest of our 50 states. Uh, the state is called Rhode Island. It's a beautiful place. It's a place that is uh, dominated by a coastline, which is something that I love dearly, and, and I miss not living in that part of the country anymore. But uh, I'm glad that I get to go back and visit and uh, refresh my memories of this beautiful rocky coastline that we have in this part of the United States. Well, um, after completing my, my early years, uh, I moved on to the Midwestern part of the United States to a city called Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I went to college at a university called Oral Roberts University. There I earned a bachelor's degree in biology with an emphasis on the field of marine biology uh, I stayed on and completed a Master's of Biomedical Sciences degree there in the field of physiology. And that's really where I got my first introduction to neuroscience. And it only took a few weeks of thinking about the brain for me to get completely hooked. Well, after completing a Master's degree, I was convinced that what I really wanted to do was to pursue a PhD, a doctoral degree, in the field of neuroscience. So I moved to St. Louis with my wife now at the time and I enrolled in a neurobiology doctoral program at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. Well this is a phenomenal time in my life. I uh, really deepened my understanding 
of the structure and function of the nervous system. I got to work with some just incredible faculty. My dissertation mentor, uh, Dr. Joseph L. Price in particular, was a fabulous mentor and a role model for me, uh, both as a top-notch researcher, a scholar, and as an educator. Well, my journey in the field of neuroscience continued, and finally, it brought me to Duke University in 1992. Uh, I first came to Duke University as a postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Neurobiology in the Duke University School of Medicine. I worked as a fellow for several years, and I joined the faculty of the School of Medicine in 1999. And since then, I've been active as a researcher, as an educator, as a scholar, and most recently, I've uh, served the Duke Institute for Brain Sciences as the Director of Education. And that's where we are right now. Well, let me next tell you a little bit about my life and research. I've been interested for almost two decades now in fundamental questions about the organization and function of circuitry in the brain. In particular, I've been focused on the parts of the brain that are responsible for vision. And I've been especially intrigued by this idea that the neurons in the visual parts of the brain, as in most parts of the brain, respond selectively to particular sorts of stimuli. And so my principal interest in understanding brain structure and function has been focused on understanding these mechanisms of response selectivity. Well, I've also been interested in understanding how these circuits and how these properties develop in the first place. So I've been uh, active in studies of neural circuitry, especially in early postnatal life, where the influence of nature, that is our genome, and nurture, our early life experiences, collide with the emerging self-organizing properties of neural networks. And I find the interplay among these three major forces in brain evolution and brain development just fascinating, and that continues to be an area of interest of mine as I pursue ongoing research activities. Well, I'm also in a major medical center, and I have plenty of opportunity to apply myself to human neuroscience and clinical neuroanatomical studies, and I do so with colleagues in the School of Medicine that are investigating uh, problems related to various uh, clinical conditions uh, that afflict people that come here for treatment at the School of Medicine. Well, in addition to being heavily involved in research, I am deeply committed to education. I imagine you can appreciate that, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you today. Well, let me tell you a little bit about my life in education. As I mentioned, I'm faculty in the Duke University School of Medicine, and on a yearly basis, I have the privilege of teaching some of the very best students that I've ever had the privilege of being associated with. I teach in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program in the School of Medicine. I teach in the Doctor of Medicine program. I also do some teaching in our Physician Assistant program. So as you can see, I'm involved in teaching all kinds of different healthcare workers, and I find that especially uh, stimulating and rewarding. I'm also involved in supporting our educational mission at the undergraduate college and here at Duke University this is called the Trinity College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, we have a relatively new undergraduate major in the field of neuroscience and I serve this program as the Associate Director of Undergraduate Studies in Neuroscience. I also do some teaching in the graduate school uh, where I have an opportunity to interact with more advanced learners who've already earned a baccalaureate degree and are now are pursuing doctoral studies themselves in one domain of neuroscience or another. And as I mentioned, I'm the Director of Education for the Duke Institute for Brain Sciences, and this has me engaged all over campus and even beyond campus in various educational activities uh, in our local community. Well, just a little bit more about my life, and of course, uh, this is the core of my life, my family. So I have a wife who um, works uh, here at Duke University as well. She's a physician and has a special uh, concern and, and career aimed at 
understanding how to best care for older adults as they enter the final phase of their life. I have two wonderful kids, uh, one of whom is off at college herself and the other who is soon to be there. 